One of the most exciting innovations about Optimus is the impact it could have on the lives of millions of people. In the United States alone, there are an estimated 2 million amputees. Elon Musk recently spoke about his conversations with the Neuralink team, and the future he envisions is astonishing. By integrating a Neuralink brain implant with highly advanced robotic limbs, it will be possible to give someone who has lost one or more limbs a new body shape, a highly functional cyborg, essentially. In this scenario, a prosthesis ceases to be just a replacement part and becomes a true cybernetic body, controlled directly by thought. This not only restores mobility, but also autonomy, self-esteem, and independence. We're talking about a revolutionary leap in human capability, where science fiction begins to become reality. And how do these Optimus limbs connect to the human body? Elon is exploring technologies to regenerate lost limbs and organs, using artificial intelligence to decipher how DNA determines the formation of tissues. The idea is to precisely locate the point where the limb originally grew without causing damage to the surrounding tissue. From there, it will be possible to recreate the limb in the laboratory as if it were being grown in a petri dish and then reconnect it to the body. The brain, in turn, naturally begins to reconfigure its neural connections to accept the new limb. To speed up this adaptation process, Electrical stimuli help the brain learn faster, as if giving a little push in the neural reconnection process. Now imagine the possibilities with these cybernetic limbs. At first, simple tasks such as raising or rotating your arm, waving, pointing to objects, or even picking up a cup of coffee become easy again. These basic actions would already be enough to transform your routine. From picking up something from the floor, to opening doors, or getting ready in the morning, without having to rely on help to open that difficult jar of pickles. With time and practice, these smart prosthetics allow for increasingly complex activities. Typing, cooking your favorite recipes, or even playing a musical instrument. All of this becomes possible. The big difference lies in the engineering behind these prosthetics, which provides fine, natural control without the user feeling like they are stuck to a machine. Optimus Robotic Hands, for example, are an impressive example of this technology. They have 22 degrees of freedom, which allows for incredibly similar movement to that of a human hand. This is possible thanks to a cable system that uses just six actuators to control the entire hand, reducing complexity without sacrificing fluidity of movement. The fingers bend and extend naturally, thanks to torsion springs and intelligent cable routing, which keep the joint stable. All of this helps the user recover not only motor function, but also confidence in carrying out their daily activities. Eating, drinking, getting dressed, common tasks take on new life. The system includes visual controls that make it easier to use cutlery, open doors, or even handle clothes without having to fight with buttons or zippers. And it gets even better. Over time, the system learns from you. It understands how you move, what your preferences are, and adjust to make everything more comfortable and intuitive. It's as if your new limb is learning to be you, even better than your original hand. For those in the process of rehabilitation, the technology offers complete support with guided exercises and real-time feedback, as if it were a personal trainer dedicated to your new arm or leg. And in the future, the idea is to go even further. Sensors and Optimus fingers can already detect pressure and touch, and will soon be able to transmit sensations of temperature and texture, bringing the experience even closer to a natural sensation. This is the future that Elon Musk is shaping, where technology not only restores, but enhances the human body. Imagine being able to feel the objects you hold with a prosthetic limb. That's the power of haptic feedback. It allows the user to perceive textures, pressure, and even subtle sensations, making interacting with a robotic arm or leg much more natural. With this level of control, even delicate tasks, like holding an egg without breaking it, become possible. This is because the system provides real-time feedback, adjusting movements with millimeter precision. But how is a seemingly simple chip like Neuralink's able to control robotic limbs like Optimus's? It all starts with a small brain implant, placed in the regions responsible for movement. 
This chip is equipped with electrodes that capture the electrical signals emitted by the brain when you simply think about performing an action, like moving your hand or raising an arm. Neuralink interprets these signals, decodes them into digital commands, and sends them wirelessly to the robotic limb. There, actuators and sensors replicate human muscle movements, allowing the prosthetic limb to move in sync with the user's thoughts. Lifting a cup, waving, or even giving a thumbs up, all controlled by the power of the mind alone. Two real-life cases help illustrate how this technology is already working in practice. One of them is that of Nolan Arbaugh, who received his implant on January 29th of this year. Just one month later, Nolan was already able to control a computer cursor using only his thoughts. This shows how quickly the brain can adapt to the Neuralink interface and how accurately the technology can capture signals. The electrodes in Nolan's brain identify the impulses associated with movement, as if he were using a mouse or joystick, and the system translated all of this into digital actions. He even managed to play online games, just with his mind. If Neuralink can interpret brain signals to control something as sensitive as a cursor, controlling a robotic arm, which requires equally fine movements, is completely feasible. Tasks such as holding a cup or typing become possible with this same neural control base. Another impressive example is the case of Alex, who showed even faster results. Just five minutes after receiving the implant, he was already using complex 3D design software, such as CED, and playing video games. This is remarkable, especially since CAD requires extremely precise movements and fine coordination to manipulate objects in three-dimensional environments. And anyone who plays games knows that fast reflexes and precise control make all the difference. These results show that by translating brain activity into actionable commands, Neuralink provides real-time control with precision and fluidity, the same principle that can be applied to the use of robotic arms or legs like Optimus's. The brain sends a command the system interprets it, and the robotic limb executes it. All of this almost instantly, as if it were a natural arm. Of course, one question many people ask is, how much does all this cost? We're no longer talking about a $6 million man, like in the old movies. Today, the estimate is around $60,000 per implant. It may seem like a lot, but compared to the potential to transform lives and give independence to those who have lost their limbs, the amount represents a huge advance in accessibility and quality of life. Although Elon Musk has estimated that the cost of a Neuralink implant will be around $60,000, there is still no official figure for the application of an Optimus robotic arm or a leg to a patient. In practice, this final cost may include not only the device itself, but also expenses for surgery, post-operative care, and rehabilitation. According to the most recent estimates, the cost of the procedure to implant the Neuralink chip is around $10,500. This includes tests, components, and the medical labor itself. However, with additional costs, such as insurance and medical logistics, this number could easily rise to around $50,000. Overall, the complete project from surgery to integration with the robotic limb is expected to not exceed $100,000. Although this may seem like a large investment, it is important to remember that we are talking about a technology that is already proven to be functional, safe, and approved by regulatory agencies. Human trials have been very successful in compliance with strict safety standards established by entities such as the FDA, U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Neuralink's development includes constant updates based on participant feedback with improvements made after each phase of testing. In the first human implant, the Neuralink chip, known as N1, began recording brain signals almost immediately after surgery. This device uses 1,024 electrodes distributed across 64 ultra-flexible filaments to capture neural activity. Approximately 85% of the electrodes implanted in the first patient remained active, an indicator of high reliability in the engineering of the system. The surgery was performed by the Barrow Neurological Institute, and the patient was discharged the following day with an uneventful recovery. 
Based on the lessons learned from this first operation, several improvements were applied to the second procedure performed on patient Alex. The chip used in him brought about a significant evolution. The number of filaments was doubled to 128, but with a smaller number of electrodes per wire, now only 8, keeping the total at 1,024. This strategic change allows the chip to reach more regions of the brain, in addition to offering greater stability and precision in collecting neural signals. With more input channels, the system can capture thoughts more clearly, expanding the potential for control. Less than three weeks after the procedure, Neuralink announced that around 400 of the electrodes implanted in Alex were already active and transmitting promising signals, exceeding initial expectations. He himself reported being amazed by the experience, being able to play and control the character in different directions just by thinking, describing it all as unbelievable. These advances show how this technology has the power to transform the lives of people with physical disabilities, such as accident victims or war veterans. And from an economic standpoint, the impact can also be huge. If Neuralink is able to make neural prosthetics viable on a large scale, we're talking about a market with the potential to generate billions, meeting a growing demand for assistive devices and high-tech rehabilitation solutions. In addition, with the increasing global focus on mental health and neurological trauma, solutions like Neuralink's could become essential tools in various treatments. And Elon Musk has already given clues about what is to come. If everything goes as expected, in the next few years we will have hundreds, perhaps thousands of people with Neuralink implants. And who knows, within a decade, millions. But Neuralink is not stopping there. The next project, called Blindsight, promises to restore vision to blind people. This new proposal has already received the designation of breakthrough device by the FDA, which speeds up the testing and approval process. In short, the future of the brain-machine interface seems increasingly close and real. Neuralink's next patient will be a blind person who is about to receive this revolutionary technology that promises to restore vision. Elon Musk has ambitious goals. He plans to perform up to eight surgeries this year which would bring the company's total number of patients to 10. But the plan doesn't stop there. By 2026, Musk believes more than a 1,000 people could be using these brain chips. But what exactly is this chip called Blindsight? It works by stimulating nerve cells in the retina with electrodes, simulating the functioning of light-sensitive cells. This allows the brain to begin forming visual images. At first, the image quality may seem a little pixelated, but Elon is confident that over time, this technology could even surpass natural human vision. Neuralink also wants to integrate external cameras into the chip to transmit high-definition images directly to the brain, an idea that sounds like something out of the science fiction movie. And, as is only to be expected from an Elon Musk project, there are future plans to expand human vision with capabilities such as infrared or even something similar to radar vision. Yes, this could take us to a whole new level of sensory perception. And this fusion between Neuralink's brain chip and Optimus Robotic Limbs promises to radically change the lives of people with amputations or paralysis. The idea is to allow these individuals to control prosthetics with just their thoughts without relying on damaged muscles or nerves. Everyday tasks, such as getting dressed or cooking, would once again be possible. The technology could also benefit war veterans and accident victims, and even help in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as ALS. In addition, in dangerous environments, workers could use robotic arms to handle risky tasks, acting as a safe and controlled extension of the body. The integration between brain-computer interfaces, BCI, and robotics opens the door to a future of physical augmentations and significant improvements in quality of life. Speaking of patients, Nolan Arbaugh, the first to receive the Neuralink implant, had the chip installed seven months ago. Since then, his life has changed completely. After a diving accident eight years ago that left him without movement, Nolan has regained motor and cognitive functions with the help of the chip. Today, he is relearning languages such as French and Japanese and dreams of returning to university, 
either to finish his previous degree or to study neuroscience in depth. Nolan works with a Neuralink team on a daily basis to adjust and improve the system, not only for himself, but to help future patients. In a recent post, he shared details of his routine. With focus and training, he was able to flex his fingers and control the cursor on a computer using only his thoughts, and he even wrote in creative workshops by imagining he was holding a pen. He also studies mathematics from scratch and dedicates an hour a day to reading. In addition to dreaming of publishing his texts, founding an NGO, and even building a house for his parents. Another patient, Alex, the second in line, has already broken records. On his first day of use, he broke the world record for cursor control using a brain-computer interface. Soon, he was playing Counter-Strike, a first-person shooter, and even using the 3D modeling software Fusion 360 to create a custom charging station for his chip which he printed himself. With the help of the chip, Alex was able to map brain commands to different mouse actions, such as zooming, clicking, scrolling, and dragging. He still spent his free time developing projects in CAD software, demonstrating an impressive mastery of the technology. Alex sees Neuralink as a tool to empower people around the world and inspire innovation. And, of course, he continues to explore his passions, including video games. Now. He can aim and move at the same time just by thinking, which represents a huge step towards independence for him.